Good evening, everyone. Uh, today I will speak about uh, first combined with intraarterial mitochondrial transplantation for ischemic stroke. And stroke is the leading cause of serious long-term disability uh, wide world. And the, it is estimated $34 billion each year. And today there are only two FDA approved treatments for acute ischemic stroke. One is medication treatment with atepalase, and the second one is mechanical controlectomy. But the window for treatment is very short, and the patients who arrived after this window uh, don't have any option of treatment. And because of this, it's imperative to develop additional therapeutic options for stroke. And why study mitochondria? Because mitochondria is the critical role in energy and metabolism regulation, cell cycle, survival and death, apoptosis generation of ROS. And we got that idea from the group of Harvard that they, uh, they studied mitochondrial transplantation for myocardial ischemia and hyperfusion injury. And the same group published the protocol for hyperdecylation of mitochondria. And the last paper is the transfer of mitochondria for astrocytes to neurons after stroke. And this group showed that mitochondria has activity into the extracellular space. And because of this, it encourages us to start studying mitochondria for stroke brain. And here is our protocol for mitochondria isolation. We get two pieces of mitochondria with, six, uh, with muscle with six millimeters each piece. And after bring it to the homogenizer uh, machine and make a single cell suspension. And uh, this is the timeline with our whole protocol. And we can get the mitochondria in 30 minutes. It's a feasible time for a patient with stroke. And uh, here is our uh, stroke model. We introduce the filament with 10 millimeters into the common carotid artery and place it at the origin of the MCA artery and keep it at per, uh, one hour. And after one hour, we reperfuse and deliver 2 million mitochondria into the internal carotid artery. And our first experiment, we stroked the mouse. And one group, we delivered PBS into arterial, and another group, we delivered mitochondrial arterial, and after sliced the brain and did TTC staining. And the result was insignificant between the groups with N equals five. And our first question is, do mitochondria get to brain? For answer this question, we pre-labeled our mitochondria with mitotracker and deliver it into arterial in the stroke brain. And we can see red into the stroke uh, hemisphere with the styling confocal imaging 10X. And after we asked, can we improve mitochondria to brain? And for this question, we stroked the mouse and we delivered Evans Blue for no stroke, Evans Blue for stroke, and Evans Blue for stroke plus first. And we could see much more uh, my, uh, Evans Blue into the group, the first group with relevant results. And here again, the tiling imaging with more uh, uh, mitochondria in the uh, penumbra area where we target. And after, do cells pick, pick up mitochondria selectively? And with the MAP2 standing for neurons, we could see some red dots into the uh, neurons in the merge imaging. And after we labeled with astrocytes with GFAP, and again, we can see red dots into the astrocytes. And our future question is, does the liver of mitochondria make a difference in neuronal survival? I'm working on this now, and I'm using um, uh, MAP2 staining and tunnel for deaf cells. And I want to uh, see if the PBS group will have mo uh, more mitochondria, um, sorry, more neurons uh, overlap, overlabel with uh, tunnel cells com when we compare with um, the mitochondria group. And our last question is do mitochondria necessary to neuron survival in stroke area? And for this, I will give actin block for block phagocytosis in my, in my cells, in my mouse, and after delivery, uh, mitochondria for this mouse, and see if the group uh, who has a, a phagocytosis blocked will have more uh, neurons overlabeled with tunnel than group uh, without actin block. Thank you. Um. Just to clarify, I just want to understand, your goal is to deliver mitochondria in area of penumbra and benign oligemia, or to deliver into the infarcted tissue? 
uh, I deliver uh, intra-arterial and whole, uh, it distributed in whole hemisphere. And after I uh, get imaging from 20x from um, core area, penumbra area, and normal tissue. And I count each, uh, each region and compare the results. So what's the, what's the distribution after you, you, you did intra-arterial injection, right? Sorry? You did intra-arterial injection yeah. after the first. So where is the distribution of these mitochondria? Is it into, do you get more into the penumbra tissue or do you get more because into the infarcted tissue? the penumbra area and I got more in, in, in penumbra area than other areas of the brain. Yes. But because stroke uh, by itself opened the blood brain barrier and we will get some uh, mitochondria in other areas of the brain but uh, we could increase the, the number of mitochondria where we target, yes. Thank you. Any other questions?